Yeah, the, the presentation basically was about uh, our view on agriculture. We normally uh, consider uh, agriculture, farming, the different farming systems in quite a unidimensional way. Uh, we start with, let's say, the bottom line, these are peasants, then come uh, the medium farms, then come uh, the real entrepreneurs, and then finally the very big uh, enterprises of the agro-factory type uh, with thousands of animals having a considerable share in the market. Now the point is we look to uh, this uh, range as going from uh, small and insignificant uh, towards uh, the mighty, the powerful, the promise for the future. And my argument is that this is uh, too much limited, it's too much unidimensional. Uh, on, uh, within the peasantry, uh, I mean, we deal with uh, an enormous population, there's a lot of innovativeness in it and a lot of resilience, and that's especially important in this time of crisis. Uh, to explain it a little bit, uh, what peasants do is combine in a very clever way uh, being self-sufficient. Yeah, they have everything they need, uh, the animals, the feed and fodder, the land, the water, the technology. They have it themselves and they produce and reproduce it continuously. And having this uh, own set of resources, they produce for the market. So it's about being independent and at the same time produce for the market and that makes it a very strong resilient uh, constellation which is doing in many respects far better than uh, the big uh, corporate agriculture. Uh, of course an interesting element is that in the first place uh, this uh, this points to a communality between the north and the south, both in Europe but also in uh, the south. Uh, the peasantry is a very important part of our agriculture. Secondly, it points to the principle of multifunctionality. Uh, these peasant farmers uh, find it uh, relatively easy to combine more uh, activities to integrate the care for biodiversity, for the landscape, uh, into their way of farming. Uh, they can easily diversify. And that means that uh, yeah, they have more economic sources within their, uh, in their uh, unit of production and that makes them stronger. When one market goes uh, badly, for sure they can defend themselves with uh, other markets. Now, we applied this argument uh, to, especially to, to the South, asking uh, in the presentation of, uh, of this very interesting uh, meeting of, uh, of people of the European Commission. We asked ourselves, what does this imply then for our uh, development interventions? How can we strengthen uh, this uh, resilience of peasant farming? That means that we look a little bit less uh, to the market, we look a little bit less to the famous concept of market integration and creating a very big uh, uh, enterprises. It's important to focus on the real needs uh, of, the, of the peasant population and to uh, contribute as much as possible to strengthening uh, them. And that can be done in a manifold way. And well, uh, it was interesting that the participants uh, to the meeting themselves also brought in uh, many experiences and many indications on how this uh, can be done.